They don't do real good in the wind, so you got to set up some wind around them. So just pull an ounce or so. Can you have a lighter or something with you usually? Or? with alcohol burning you can't see it in the sun <laughs> as you know so we're gonna let that go for about for about oh, 30 seconds and you'll see some neat stuff happening let me find you a better can here do you have a little pot you heat up stuff or i can find a can no i did usually cut open an empty beer can okay. yeah, right. yeah beer can would work Find it good yeah. in here I used to have pots down there with it. I can't keep them down there. You get a can opener, it looks like. I used to have a Coleman <laughs> burner. Cook, cook deal. Okay. Oh, yeah, look Is that cool? Yep. But uh, I had to go to jail for 60 days on a DUI charge. And Josh, you just put water in whatever you want. And when you put it on there, it smothers the top, and then you have a nice flame. Of course, a little bigger works a little easier. I usually take aluminum foil and wrap in a circle. I let that get too hot. <laughs> and it'll just, it'll cool down here in a second. We had water in there to cool down even more. So the good news is, if it gets out of control, it's alcohol, just throw some water on it, go right out. Whereas you don't do that with any other kind. It's good. And you put your noodles in there, bud. Get yeah. some hot noodles, and, and it's gonna set that on fire. But uh, I should have some water to <laughs> yeah. put it out with. But. Last time you guys come down, and brought some kids with me. Oh, I, I just grass in there, though, smoking. Okay, we'll let it burn out. It's easier that way. And that's using heat. Yeah. Yeah, it gets kind of hot on my fingers. Too. Can I leave this for you? Is that all right? I'll leave this bottle if you want. Oh yeah. Those are. Very inexpensive. You could use uh, like rubbing alcohol, it just don't burn very well. Uh, I've got another where you take a tuna can, you just put this dirt in it, and then you dump your rubbing alcohol or something like this, and that makes a fairly safe burn. The, the danger is if someone were to jar this, they flare up, you're pretty scary. So that's that's the danger. So uh, we'll let it burn out. But uh, How long will that burn? We can fill that up. Probably to about here, and I'd say Jeff, you got you could cook for 20 minutes. Wow! And this one's a little too big a flame. Usually, they're just a little blue, like like a stove burner. I've okay. got to let this one get out of control. So you punch holes in the side of it, like you yeah. Go there. There's a false wall. I build one where you don't, and you just put a screw in it. As long as you put a screw in, it's fine. If you don't, it kind of blows apart. But uh, <laughs> the simple sometimes is just this with a piece of sheetrock shoved in there and dump the alcohol in, and it just burns beautifully, like homemade sterno. You know, so. Huh. Cool. And, and if I remember right, alcohol is mostly CO2 and water for emissions. It's not quite so bad. Well, I'm kind of allergic to smoke these oh, days. Oh, here so. it ain't going to be <laughs> no get, problem. Yeah. It gets really yeah. cold. I got firewood down there. I started my worm barrel. Oh, that's nice.